Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from Edward. It comes in 170 second scale and it copies Avia S199, but this time we get an aircraft with arrow canopy, so you can see it on the box art and of course we have this profit pack as a commercial sample, so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you will see in this video review. Kit number is 7152 and this comes as yet another version of this uh, Czech German aircraft in 170 second scale and won't take a lot of space and because this is a profit pack we have all handy things for a nice build project in a small scale. So first of all I have to note that box size is standard for such type of kit from Edward and you can see comparison with my hand here. By the way we also reviewed uh, this aircraft S199 with a bubble canopy you can find it in our YouTube channel as well it was a profit pack as far as I remember and here on the side you'll find also some information about the manufacturer safety advices while on the opposite side we can see six marking options which are included here so all of them can be replicated with help of this kit and its decal so it's a top opening box and here is what we have inside as you can see uh, there is plenty of space so really doubt that parts will arrive damaged to you and now let's just open it we start with a clear frame first and here I think the best part is that even in this tiny scale Edward actually provides you with parts which can help you replicate the open canopy on your aircraft in 170 second scale it is still unusual even in 2022 so that's why I think that this is a great opportunity to open the cockpit and expose what is inside especially here when we have a profit pack which provides us with a PE for the cockpit and masks for the clear parts so you can see that uh, over Overall parts division is typical we also get the bubble canopy here but obviously it will not be used because today we are dealing with the aero canopy aircraft now I'm going to open the gray plastic sprues which are packed separately so just give me a moment to do so and we will talk about it in detail so first of all I would like to show the frame F here we have fuselage halves, maybe I will place it like this, this way we won't have to zoom out, you can see all the parts straight away in a zoomed in view. So here you can see fuselage halves and I have to say that the parts division is I would say classic, we have it molded together with a tail fin and also with a nose section, note that we have the only the top section molded separately but the whole nose area is pre-molded, it might be good for some others because they won't have to worry about any possible fit problems but from another side you have to be careful with the fitment of this top panel next we continue also here maybe I'll open the lenses because it looks like it's not that bright here we also have the lower cooling panel and if I flip it over here inside you'll find some cockpit parts as well as the guiding elements for this fuselage parts which is really great because it will speed up the assembly process and of course ensure that you get this right positioned parts together. Next we have a sprue C, so here we have parts for um, I would say various areas of this aircraft, for example we have main wheel wells as well as the exhaust stacks, we also have landing gear wheel parts, we have the external fuel tank here, one piece cockpit 4 which is molded together with the rudder pedals as you can notice. Next we continue with the propeller hub, we have also some parts for external um, gun gondolas which will be underwing and here we have another type of the fuel tank we continue with some parts for the propeller here is by the way the one piece propeller which is really good because you won't have to deal with the separate propeller blades and it ensures the proper fitment of these parts together and we also have the one piece landing gear legs which look okay but do not forget that you can replace them with the original bronze parts which will be even more impressive and they should be handy for for these builds which use a lot of resin or different accessories which actually 
add to the weight of the whole build. And another sprue is a sprue D. So here we have wing parts. As you can see again, design is somewhat uh, classic for this aircraft. It means for BF-109 and also S-199. We have the two top panels and one bottom. I can see that wing edges will actually serve as a guiding elements and note that pitot tube is pre-molded here. We have separately molded flaps and ailerons. It might be handy in order to replicate aircraft in flight maybe because I know there are plenty of modelers who are actually starting to do more and more dynamic scenes with such models and this is really great in my opinion because we all seen static models and I think it's a time to experiment with in-flight positions in, in let's say in a replacement of these parked positions which we are usually seeing on the exhibitions. Note also external features here so I will finish the round view and now you can check the external features. We have recessed panel lines, rivets and everything looks fine. Let's not forget that this is just a 172nd scale kit. Here you can see comparison with my fingertip. These are really tiny parts and if I flip them over here you can see what I was talking about. So wing edges are actually serving as a guiding elements but we also have guiding pins. So it's quite a well thought design which shows what you can achieve with modern technologies and I think Edward is let's say on the leading edge of this progress and they actually show what should be and can be improved in the models world and what other manufacturers can achieve if they will try to use as many technologies as many tech as Edward does. Next we continue with the P fret. So this is a profit pack, so that's why we have P fret included out of the box. And as I said, it's mostly suitable for cockpit parts because we have pre-painted P fret, but still there are some minor bits for external features as well, which is also great because you won't be getting just only the cockpit details, you can also add some features on the external surfaces as well. Next we have another traditional bonus for profit pack as you can guess this is a mask sheet and masks are pre-cut so it's just a matter of uh, getting them off this paper and applying on the clear parts and also on the landing gear wheels next we continue with decal sheets so here we actually have two decal sheets that's why i'm saying it in a plural and <coughs> sorry both are printed in Edward, so you shouldn't be worried about any possible printing issues. And as you can see, we have here all necessary symbols for six marking options. So it's just a matter of careful application on your aircraft. We also have a segmentation, which is rather smart because you just cut out the necessary symbols and you'll be good to go. And the same can be said about stencils. So here, uh, obviously, we do not have a segmentation, but we have a nice printing quality. And as usual, I recommend to apply all these tiny writings on your aircraft, even in 170 second scale. It should be an impressive thing and it will definitely make your model a bit more convincing in its appearance. Next, we continue with the assembly manual. So this one is finished in form of large card printed brochure. We have a short history note in English here on the first page. Next, paper is quite thick by the way. So next we continue with the parts map and blue cover means that these parts will not be used. So as you can see only a few of them will stay untouched. And assembly process starts with the cockpit. So here straight away you have to work with P parts. You have also to drill the original cockpit four part in order to install some of the external bits. But seat belts, these are P parts. So be ready to use CA glue and all other stuff for the instrument panel as well. So as you can see next we join fuselage house together and insert the cockpit floor from, from below. Here we have to modify the original main wheel wells because they will be replaced with PE parts and this is quite an interesting thing. As you can see it is mentioned as an option so in case you are not feeling like going into such serious modifications you can stay with the original plastic parts but this ones obviously will be a bit more detailed. And next we continue with the rear 
wall for the cockpit. Here we install the tail fairings and also the rudder, which is molded separately, as you remember. Here we have the air intake being installed and all the wing mechanization as well as the meshes for the air intakes. Landing gear gets assembled here. Do not forget about this quite interesting, um, I would say, shape of the landing gear on the BF-109 and S-199. Here we have also a uh, small reminder that you can assemble this model with open canopy, which is, again, I will repeat myself that it's great opportunity to use it, because in 172nd scale it looks more impressive than in 148 scale, in my opinion. Here we have also masks application guide, and you can also use this underwing uh, cannons, Canon gondolas, which can be used on markings A, D and F. And here we start with uh, first two marking options. Note that on the actually the R shown. So here you can see this uh, underwing Canon gondolas. Here on the second marking we do not have it. And as you remember on the fourth one we should have it. Yes, it is there. On the third one again we do not have it. And here we continue in the same sequence. So here we have the underwing cannons, here we do not have. So I guess all Israeli aircraft had them. If you know more about this topic, feel free to write in the comment section because I will be happy to learn more. Nevertheless, here on the last page we have a stenciling guide. So again, pay attention because some symbols correspond to the specific marking options. So it will depend on the uh, camouflage you will choose for your model build. So this kit should be already available together with all possible accessories from Edward on their official website obviously and of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about this release. Do not forget to write it here in the comment section below. If you like this video press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and bye.